Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to speak to you about living without regrets. And last week I spoke about values and how to find out the things that you value in life. And this is very important when you start thinking about living without regrets because we all have different values. And I'll put a link in the show notes below to the episode I did last week on values. So, and if you haven't watched it I rec- or listened to it, I recommend you do that first before you listen to this episode, because you it'll help you to, to understand, to actually make use of what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So when you know what you value, and we all value different things, And there is no right thing to value or wrong thing to value. And it's something that I learned the hard way. I think, you know, when I was younger, I could be quite judgmental about certain things. And we think that our values are the right values. And I know that I've done that in the past as well. But there is no right and wrong. It's just a beautiful experience of life. And we experience our life through the values that we have and the choices we make because of those values. And it doesn't make us better than anyone else or someone else not as good as us because they've got different values. It's just a beautifully different experience of life. But once you know what you value, and you might think you do, but when I did the values sort of determined what values I had in life, um, I was actually quite surprised by some of the ones that came out as my top values. So I'd recommend doing the process that I spoke about in the last episode to find out exactly what your values are. Because when you know what your values are, then you can make decisions based on those values and you will have less regrets. So earlier on in this year, um, my father was very ill and I had a choice to make. I could stay here in the UK and carry on working and my life would be safe and I would be, you know, I'd make sure everything was okay. Or I could go over there and help him with the treatment that he was having. And I knew it would be for about a couple of months. And I knew that my business might suffer from that if I did that. But knowing who I am and knowing my values, I kind of thought about it. And the way I sort of determine whether or not I'm going to regret something is I ask myself, if I carry along on this path, would I regret not having made the other choice? Um, Or if I made that choice, would I regret this other thing? Um, And I actually do question myself on that. And what I decided was I can always make more money but I can never get more time with my father. So therefore the decision was really easy. And I chose to go out there and spend time with him. And I know that I will never regret that for as long as I live. But if I hadn't have gone, it might have been the last time I ever saw him. And I would have regretted having missed out on that. So when I look at my values, family for me is right up there at the top. It is, I think, the most important thing for me in my life is my family. So when I know that that is one of my highest values, when I'm making those decisions, I know that I'm going to choose family over nearly anything else that I've got going on in my life. And it makes it an easy decision to make when I know that is one of my values. Something else that is also a a big value in my life is about really truly living life and having experiences. It's my belief, and I know it's a belief, Um, that we are here to experience life, that that is one of the primary reasons we are here, is to experience ourselves as source having a human experience. And so therefore, making sure that I step out into the world and that I grab it and that I dive in and that I do things is incredibly important to me. And even more so that I've been looking at the lives of a couple of people that have passed recently um, and seeing that one of them did just that, just totally lived life to the full, And the other person had dreams and hopes and wishes that they never followed through on. And I wonder if they did have regrets in that they didn't do the things they wanted to do, which has made me even more determined to make sure that I do everything in life that I truly want to do and and experience everything that I want to experience. I think a lot of us can get sidetracked into living the life that we feel we should be living. Um, I actually had a wonderful conversation with someone just before I sat down and been recording this for you about what was the purpose of life and how life is shifting and changing. 
and how sort of, you know, working a nine to five job and, you know, thinking about your pension and thinking about retirement and all these things that we're brought up to think about, how that's changing and shifting now. Um, I personally don't think I'm ever going to retire, partly because what I do to me isn't really work anyway. It's me living my experience. It's me sharing things that I give me joy to share. Almost they're things that bubble up that feel like they need to be shared more than that I have a desire to share them, <laughs> which is a bit, a, bit, a bit bizarre, but there we go. And I can't share anything unless it's been an inspiration that's come to me to share it. So thinking about not doing that is almost, it would be like trying to squash the life force of me down trying to make myself less than so that I didn't have to do something. To me, part of living is this sharing. It's being part of creating a different world and raising consciousness and interacting with people that want to know the things that I find exciting. And so my life has a very different feel, a very different direction to a lot of people because I'm not living to get to a point where I retire. I'm just living. And for me, that goes a long way to living without regrets because I'm not trying to fit into a mold that somebody else has created. I'm trying to create something from within myself. And I think that's a lot about living without regrets. It's about seeing what's important to you. And I'm not saying that my way of life is for everybody. It, it isn't. But I know that I've chosen it for myself. And I might fall flat on my face at times, it might not work out at times, but I have no regrets for doing it. Because if I hadn't have tried it, if I hadn't have embraced it, then I really would regret not having done that. Because I would always be wondering, what if? And I think that's something that's also important when you're trying to live without regrets, is if you think you're going to make a decision that leaves you with what ifs, then you know that you're going to be taking a direction that could leave you with regrets. And the things that we regret are not just the decisions that I've talked about. They're conversations that you might have with people or conversations you might not have or choose not to have with people. They are experiences that you've decided for whatever reason that you're not going to have. Um, and quite often fear is the thing that stops us from doing what's in our heart. So really ask yourself, are you making the decision based on a fear or based on choosing to live? And I think that is the thing that you really should question. So one, knowing your values so that you know what you value in life when you make a decision and is it in alignment with your value system? And second of all, are you making the choices you're making from fear or are you making them from an expanded sense of self of you actually experiencing and living life? I hope that this has given you some insights into living without regrets. And if you'd like to learn more about my coaching or my online courses, the links will be down in the show notes. And if you've enjoyed this episode and you want to hear more from me, then make sure you subscribe and like it. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.